good Monday morning and New Year's Eve and last Monday of 2018. Wow, what a year it's been as we have dug into some hard places in regards to words. I hope it's ministered and encouraged you. I know it's challenged me. I have been far more acutely aware of my words in this season than I probably have in the past. But as I thought about where to leave us as we end this year and as we head into the study for next year that I'm really excited about, I knew I wanted to leave us with next to the fact that the words that were spoken that a savior is being born, these are my favorite words. And they're found in the Gospel of John, verse 14, and verse 1, and it goes like this. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself that where I am, you may be also. I don't know about you, but I think about heaven a lot. I say often come quickly, Lord, I remember when I was young, I was like, Lord, I don't want you coming back until I got married, um, you know, and then it was like, I don't want you to come back to have children, and now I'm like, Lord, I want you to come back before I wake up, like now, like I am so ready. My heart longs for heaven. It has since I was a little girl. I remember just having this Uh, extreme imagination about heaven and I find myself pondering often what it will look like and be like and I want you to hear this today one day if we are in relationship with Jesus Christ if we have made him our Lord and Savior we will be in heaven with him this world, this, this stuff is not our home. One day, this, all these books and, and these paintings and this pretty chair, it's, it's not, not going to matter. I'm going to be there in a room that even now he is preparing just for me. If it weren't so, he wouldn't have said it was so. He doesn't toy with us. He even goes on to say right after this, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He is the truth. If he says it, you can trust it. It is true. Friends, he is coming back again for us. Do not get so used to this world or so connected to it that you are not longing for his return and looking and waiting and expectant. He told his disciples when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he said, watch and pray. We should always be watching and longing for his return. Do you know that there is a crown given for those who look for his return? Do you know there are a few places in Scripture where specific crowns are mentioned in Scripture and one is given to those who look and long for his appearing? Uh, I am so getting that crown because I am looking for it and longing for it all the time. Like truly, my heart looks forward to the day when this life is over and I finally get home. Have you ever wondered why you're not ever totally satisfied here? How even if you decorate the last room in your house, then once you're done, you still have a longing to do something more. Why? Because it's not your home. Not truly. We were created for another world. And so next year, 
our journey is going to be the book of Revelation. I am really excited and scared to death to walk through that with you. But you know what? I've been told to fear not, and I don't have all the answers. So we're just going to dig in together and see what Jesus will reveal. But on this New Year's Eve of 2018, as you head into the new year, may you head into it keenly aware and perpetually mindful that Jesus is preparing a room for you. And if you have not made him Lord and Savior, this is your moment. This is your time. He's got a room waiting just for you. He knows you by name. He wants to have a relationship with you and spend eternity with you. But it has to be received. You don't get to reject him and then live with him forever. It's just the truth of the word of God. It's not a gospel people like to teach anymore, but it is the truth of his word. But that longing, that place in your soul that can't be satisfied, no matter what relationship you look for or what pill you pop or what alcohol you pour in or what you buy online trying to fill that void or what you put in your mouth, trying to feed it with a physical hunger. None of those things, when they don't satisfy, it's because God set you up for Jesus. And the only thing that satisfies you is Him. You thought it was another relationship you were craving. You thought it was a promotion. If you could just get the promotion, if you could just have this certain figure in your bank account, then, then you would be satisfied. But no, friend, what you're longing for is him. And he always longs for you. He put the hole in you so that you would search your whole life and not be satisfied until you found him, until you received him. He wasn't lost, I know. He comes to seek and save the lost, but you know what I mean. Until you're willing to admit that he is what your heart needs most. I wanna pray a prayer with you if you have never surrendered your heart to Jesus but you know he's what you need you watch these Monday musings I don't know if somebody sends them to you if you see them on Facebook you watch them and you kind of incognito you're like I hope nobody knows I'm watching that but there's really something about that 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 intrigues me that ministers to me there's something about that that rings true You keep watching because you have a soul hunger for the God who made you. Pray with me. Go into this new year surrendered. Father, forgive me for my sin, for the sin that would separate me from you. Forgive me for thinking that something could fill my life or satisfy my longing other than you. I am so aware in this moment that nothing but you ever will, and I want all of you. I want you to come and fill up every nook and cranny and crevice and crease in this heart of mine and I want you to saturate it and take up residence in every part and I want you to use me I want you to fill me I want you to be Lord and Savior of my life I know 
that if I confess you with my mouth and believe in you with my heart, I will be saved and I believe that you are God's only son who died for me. So I receive you now and I thank you that I will spend eternity in the home you created for me and I will be with you. If you prayed that prayer, I want you to email us at reclaimingarts.org. You email me, Denise, at reclaimingarts.org, and we'll get some resources out to you to grow you in your faith and to give you the next steps in this journey that will change your life. God bless you. Thank you for trusting us with your hearts this year. And I look so forward to what 2019 has to hold as we study Revelation, but if Jesus wants to come back tomorrow or now, I'm okay with that too. Because I know this, he is coming back again. And that is good news to close this year out with. God bless you.